Ahoy, fellows! On the last episode, our valiant escape attempt worked! Yep, we made it. I'm getting dirt between my teeth already. I better leave it closed for now. Dude, you lived in a dump. Literally. A well oiled gearbox. Wow. Who'd have thunk it? Ouch! The wire's cutting into my flesh. I need, uh, well, something like, uh, uh, um, has anyone here got a bolt cutter? Ah! You're kidding me, broski. Let's use the pair of socks. All right, to cover my I'll hands. I'll never be able to open it with that. What? Come on. Whatever. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Yeah, you're right. Would there be any way for me to get up there? I don't wonder. Actually, hold up. Can I use the pair of socks to open the hatch? Why? Those are still good. Fair enough. Is there something here that I don't know about? Probably the provisions. You don't play with food. Fair well, enough. Really funny. Oh yeah, you got a point there. Yeah. Dude, really? Hey, aggressive little bugger. Yeah, as long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess. Wait till it's inactive? Not a chance. I need fingers like Wenzel's to reach into those cracks. Well, yeah, you do have a point there. Can I put them in the hatch? The other hatch? Yeah, okay, fine then. Maybe the socks? A pair of socks. Okay, fine, fair enough. Hey! It already has Put the socks in the cog wheels. Um Well, I have now I'll reached my I'll save my uh, an impasse entirely. How about that? Well, um, let's keep doing that one thing that we know we can do, I guess. Oh, wait, the hatch. The shape reminds me of something. Oh, oh, hold up. A pair of socks put it on the hatch. There, now we can open the freaking hatch. All right. Cool. The shape reminds me of something. Yeah, I'm a freaking moron. When I say what it is. Anyways, robot arm. Let's let's break through the hatch. Why not? Yeah. Ooh. Some this schmexy sounds. Unbelievable. This is just impossible. I know what you're talking about. I think I'm getting dizzy. What? Are you suffering from vertigo, Miss Gold? Jeez, that's an odd you voice. You stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about Bailiff? this? Bailiff? Just Smack a his nuts. All of you knew about this, right? The whole Organon is involved in this? Did you really think you could just keep it a secret? Wait until Cletus hears about this. Cletus? But you won't be telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? I am an Elysian, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan to assure my silence? Just you <laughs> wait, Ms. Go. Well, I don't want to ruin the surprise. Holy smoke, a real orbit pixie. I bet you'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go. Rufus to the rescue. Heck yeah, I am so cool. Can I take my sock back? Uh, no, I can't. Wonderful. Let's go in the hatch then. I'm so cool. Uh, green lever. <laughs> Take that! No, don't! Ah! What's that? Ah! Oh. Oh boy. Oops. Guess that was the wrong lever. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon men? Throw him overboard! That's uh, it's extremely unfortunate. You need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? First I'm here, and now I'm gone. 
Here, gone. Dude, he's so fast. Oh. Uh -uh. Dude. That's Pog. He was too fast. He's moving so fast now. Oh boy. Well, hey, it's a good thing that we landed in a nice pile of cactus. I was so close, but no, the minute I see a beautiful damsel in distress, wham! Well, I guess wham! That's just who I am. Yep. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. Yeah, am I right, fellas? The heck, the bull. I gotta Toro! say. Oh, hey, I said Toro. <laughs> if anything, he seems even more bored now. Wow. Ah, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. Huh. Interesting, uh... <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> well... <laughs> hmm. Locked. Oh, uh, darn. It can probably be opened from the inside. Well, I guess we'll have to open the truck door then. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. Oh, wonderful. Well, I guess I'll we'll have to look around in the village then. Hum, 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 hum. Wacky stuff going on. What's going on here? Huh. I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. <laughs> I guess we should talk to these nice people. Or, or not. Or not. <laughs> Screw the people. Yeah. There's sure a lot of uh, possible places over here, huh? Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting. <coughs> what a lady! Draw a waiting number, and the mayor <laughs> will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say oh. she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well, I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the dark exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So wow. move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. Bruh. Or, 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 or. The opening hours. The post office will be open o'clock? O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. What the heck? Oi, Hello, Woody. Buddy. What's you up? Too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. <laughs> I want to see the mayor. I want to see the mayor. Everyone. <clears throat> Everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. Bruh. What the heck? Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when you... Your number comes up! No exceptions. Not even for me? Especially not for you! Bruh. But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? Number 62. I think that's Wenzel. Wenzel is also applying? But Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions! Well, I guess I'll just have to I'll go skedaddle. beat Don't the crap the out of Wenzo. Dispenser. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll take a number, whatever. So that I can, uh, you know, just beat the crap number out of Number 66. Wenzel. Almost huh. my lucky number. Interesting. Let's just, like, uh, Lobo, deck. Uh, da, 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 da. Nice hats. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats because it hasn't rained for months. Yeah. <laughs> I see. And I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing. Nice. I'll skedaddle. What the heck's over here? Oh, magnets. Oh, I have to yoink those. Anything else of note? I might have to go to the post office. 
to figure out where the heck Wenzel is. Stop right there! The post office. <coughs> the post office is closed until further notice. Until when? Until the sign says, then it's open. But there's no clock there. Very and o'clock. And now, get away from that door. Bruh. Well, I'll go to the assembly hall then. Fine. Go. Like oh. I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. Ah, and you know what that means. The timing. And the, uh, you know, the, um. The, uh. uh <laughs> Quite an animation there. Around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. Ah. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as How a doctor, that? I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. The Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Yep. Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. Bruh. Ooh, 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 an animation. Fellas, do, do pretty nice. Wow, that's kind of wacky. Wow, that's pretty that's cool. enough. You what? Come on. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. Am I right, fellas? Yes, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, huh. none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! The coffee that could be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yeah, yes, it seems kind of like a... Uh... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the oh, world yeah, of a course. favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Hmm. How about that? You know, I really wonder why people even have iPads. My roommate has one, and it's connected to his phone. So if he gets a call, the iPad has a ringtone. And I'm like, dear God, I'm just going to start taking your calls. And you're like, Roomie's room. He's not here right now. You know, something like that. But for now, I'm going to be taking absolutely nothing. I guess a break from the game, something like that. <laughs> Till next week on Deponia. I'll wake up the girl or something. Like, comment, and subscribe, or I will toss you down the trash chute. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.